I'm Pat Majors. I'm in from Finley, Ohio. Um, for starters, from the very early age, I would have the uh, toys available, uh, like construction toys that the kids can play with with their hands. I think kids learn mechanically first. Um, later on, get books that help kids learn mechanical things, like the way things work, for example. And then later, as they get interested, um, answer lots of questions, and then start to, if they've got a, a really interesting habit, fund the habit. Uh, go out and buy the computer programs. If you think that they might want to try a really educational toy, go out and buy it or find it in a library, find another parent that has it, but create those opportunities for them to actually try things. It really is the hands-on experience that helps the kids learn. My checkbook. <laughs> My checkbook was heavily involved, that, that's all. I've never used LabVIEW. I've been around it for over 20 years, um, but I personally have never used it. Um, when I took Electrical Engineering 331 at Texas A&M, I slept through most of it because I was taking 19 hours, so I also can't design circuits uh, worth a hoot. But um, he's really self-taught, which is he's kind of unique, I think, among other kids that I see. He's very self-motivated, self-taught. So um, I really had no involvement whatsoever. Um, I couldn't even tell you, I couldn't describe the circuit he's using right now. I can't describe his train layout. I, I, I couldn't tell you how his program works. I'm catching on to the case structure in LabVIEW is like an if then else, I think, but um, really it is 100% him, um, really no involvement at all from us. For him, programming in LabVIEW, for example, is a game. I mean, that's better than playing a video game. We don't have, uh, I mean, I like the, the, the Wii, we've seen the, Nin I think it's the Nintendo product. We don't have those in our house, but for him, uh, programming in LabVIEW is just as good as a game, And you know, but it's something that you could get paid for later on, which is something I really like as a parent to prepare my kids for the real world. Yeah, he, he's very good at drawing um, connections between things. Uh, he's very descriptive. He'll describe things with his hands. He'll draw analogies to, to describe things that are maybe more complicated than some people understand. So yeah. Um, I actually could see him being a great teacher someday. I think he's, he's got the knack of explaining things. Yeah, he, he really is. In fact, what's interesting is our school district had recommended that he uh, skip a grade. Uh, he was already skipping a few grades for math and maybe a few more grades for science. And we as a family, and, and him in particular, said, no, nope, I, I want to be a fifth grader. I've got my friends. I'm, I want to do band with my friends in fifth grade. And so you know, he's got a lot of friends in school. Uh, Finley, Ohio is a great place to have a family if you've never been there. But he's, he's got a lot of friends and he wants to, to hang with his friends and stay in fifth grade. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep doing uh, whatever works out best. And uh, I'd, I'd like to have him in my house as long as possible till it's time to get rid of him. Well, I started with the, with the old version of the Mindstorms. It was the NX, not, not NXT, the previous one. It's, it was RCX. called the RCX, mm -hmm. and that was pretty fun, and it really got me into LabVIEW. And the book LabVIEW for Everyone. Oh, yes. That was um, LabVIEW for Everyone. Might have been the most helpful book for learning LabVIEW. Oh, the keynote this morning was great, and, and my favorite part was the 10-year-old was the kid. And so uh, afterwards, I uh, went up and introduced myself to him, and that's when I found out he wanted to meet the author of Lab You for Everyone. And so I found Michael, who called Jim. I was uh, just surprised and excited about that. So I uh, went up and met him and shook his hands. And and, and I was there, and Jim introduced himself to, uh, to, to Sam. I'm Jim Kring. I'm the author of Lab You for Everyone. And then look at him. There's my heroes. Uh, we chatted a little bit about LabVIEW and uh, I asked him a little bit about you know which parts of the books he liked and stuff so it was a uh, felt very good it, it was very uh, satisfying you know books take a lot of work to write uh, I love teaching and talking about LabVIEW and so it's just really incredible when somebody uh, recognizes that and appreciates that and especially when it's a, a guy like Samuel that was great that was a great moment